Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of representing data. This is standard 3.8a in the great state of Texas and we are using number 3 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have Alberto, he is running exercise uh, for 16 days. The table shows how many days he ran each distance. And we have some tally marks here, we have some distance, and then we need to represent that with a dot plot. And sometimes these dot plots are also called line plots, you might see both. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to do two separate things, and then after that it's gonna be pretty simple to solve this problem. First, let's, let's add just an extra row down here. Even though it's not that difficult to go ahead and, and read the tally marks, let's just make sure we put some digits there. That's going to be a little bit easier. So we will just say number. I'm going to put a little number sign here. A little hashtag there. So uh, one mile, he ran that two days. One and a half mile, he ran that five days. Uh, and two miles, he ran that three days two and a half miles, four days, and then three miles, he ran two days. And then if you put all of those days together, that's that's where you get the 16, the two plus five plus three plus four plus two, which not really needed information. We don't really need to know how many days. We just need to match this information to the dot plot. Now the dot plot might initially seem like it's missing information. On these dot plots, right, we've got one, we've got two, we've got three, all the way across. One, two, three. It seems as if it might be missing stuff, but they're just unlabeled. So if we were to put this distance right here, right in between one and two is a mixed number. And we call that a mixed number because it has both a whole number and a fraction. So one and a half is a mixed number. So this is my whole number, one, and it's mixed with a fraction. And they put those together. One and a half is between one and two, because it's a little bit more than one, but it's not quite as much as two. So if you were to draw some pictures, so this would be one, right? This is going to be two. You draw two full circles shaded in here. That's two. So guess what one and a half is going to be? It's going to be one and then a half. And let's just pretend that's half. Let's make that half right there. So that's why one and a half is in between one and two. And then also we've got between two and three. Well, you could probably figure that out. That's two and a half. And it's going to be like that for each of these graphs. So let's just look at each of these. Um, the f one mile had two days, so we're looking for two, so that's good. Uh, two is good, two is good. D is automatically just gone because, look, they just have one all the way across, and that that's not going to work. So D is just out of the picture. So we're between A, B, and C. So we had five for one and a half, so we got to count one, two, three, four, five. So A's got five, and that's good. Um, my one and a half on C is actually one, two, three, four. Ooh, that's no good. That is not going to work. Should be one more. And then it looks like my one and a half on B is also going to be four, which means it is not going to be good, which means our answer should be A, but just to double check, let's make sure everything else works out. So on two miles, there were three days. So I've got one, two, three. Thankfully, A continues to work out. And guess what? C works as well as does B. So right now it's just that one and a half that's really messing with you. And it's because it's that one and a half in between the one and the two that's unlabeled. Two and a half is four. One, two, three, four. So we're good here on A. Oh, we are not good here on C. That's five. So that's not going to work. And we're not, you know, B is just a mess. Both B and C are both a mess. And then we've got two for three, and we are good. Two, two, so it works. B and C each had two that were incorrect. D was a hot mess. A is correct.